All right, guys, let's talk foottrading.co.uk. You guys ask how you can support my content. That is how you do it. In return for supporting my content, you will get the buying and selling prices for every single card on this game for as low as £10 a month. It's really, really easy to use. But what we like about the site is we teach you guys how to trade. It's not just go and buy these cards. We teach you guys why it is. I even handwrite two guides every single week giving you guys the ins and outs of trading and why we do what we do and what to look out for. £10 a month for Tier 1, £15 a month for Tier 2, £20 a month for Tier 3, and you will never need to spend a single penny on FIFA points ever again. So check out the website, but for now, let's get into the video. Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to a brand new video with me, Fuzzball40. As always, if you're new around here, make sure you subscribe down below and make sure your notification to turn on so you never miss an upload. I do just want to say thank you for the incredible support on the videos recently. Um, it's been non-stop. It's been absolute non-stop and I'm so thankful for it. So thank you very much. Get ready for it because the new foot trading is coming soon with a new mode on it. It's going to be tournament mode where you guys can win prizes just for being subscribed at the website and making millions of coins and play against other content creators in our massive content creators tournament. But it's going to be a really easy video this. It's going to be going over the best things to do to craft the 75 times 5 for free. Yes, it is for free. Anyone that uses these methods on the game that I bring out for these videos knows it is for free. So, I'm going to start with the basic thing that you need to know, and that is if you are doing League SPC grind, continue to do so. If you are the sort of person doing all the leagues, stop doing that. But I, if you want my opinion on the leagues you should focus on, the League of New Breeds, the Bundesliga, the CSL, and the Saudi League, okay? Continue with those leagues. Every other league, stop doing. It isn't worth it, because it's 75 times 5. They've got really good pack values. They're fantastic, okay? Important. So, first method... BPM into the 75 times. We all know it by now, but we'll go over it in a bit of detail. So what you're going to do is you're going to open up as many of these bronze packs as possible, okay? And you're going to sell every single card. Now, if you're not League SBC grinding, you sell every card of value on, the, on that you get from the packs. Everything. It doesn't matter what it is. You sell ev absolutely everything of value in the pack. If you are League SBC grinding, keep the teams or the leagues that you are using. The rest get sold. But what you do is you list up these cards. So we're going to list up that card there. There's like four or five times the pack value. I'm going to keep this because I do the Saudi League. And then they all get sent to club. And you'll keep doing that and keep doing that. We're going to open up a couple more packs. Um, and basically, you will get profit. And you will get profit just from doing this method, okay? Because over time, BPM is always value. Now, if you get bronze rares that don't sell for anything at all, then those bronze rares should be kept, okay? If you get bronze rares that don't sell for anything at all, keep them for now. Sell them when we get an SPC. That means they're going to go up in value, okay? It's as simple as that. We'll do one more pack. So that first rare silver, for example, rare bronze, for example, has paid for the next three or four packs. That'll be part of an SPC solution. And sometimes your packs won't be profitable. Sometimes they will. But overall, you will make profit guaranteed. It just is how it works. So that card there pays for the pack. And then this Chinese Super League player will add profit. For that. Get rid of everything else in the pack that doesn't sell. Send that to club, okay? And you repeat that, repeat that. My advice is do about 50k's worth at a time, okay? 50,000 coins worth at a time. What you then do is head over to the upgrade section, um, wherever that is. Where's upgrades? Where's, where's the upgrade section? What have they done? Where is the upgrade? There it is. They put it into foundation. Um, so you basically got bronze, silver, and gold, okay? You're going to put your bronze cards that don't sell, so that's all the ones that aren't League SBC, into this bronze upgrade, okay? Once you've done that, you're going to get two silver players. Keep the League SBC ones you're using, and then put those silvers that don't sell or aren't League SBCs you're using into the silver upgrade, and that'll give you three common golds. Every three of those packs gives you an, a 75 times 5 pack. It's massively worth it. They're very, very good packs. However, if you continue to League SBC grind while you're doing this, I would advise it. You're also going to be doing these SPCs here. So you can get League 1 New Breach. You're going to get Bundesliga packs. From these, you're going to get a Prime World Players pack. Anything that isn't like 82, anything 82 rated and below from all these packs go straight into that grind as well. So you're guaranteeing yourself three players there. Guaranteeing yourself another three players there. You will get players here, small private lecture room. I'd keep anything that's of value. Sell everything else if need be. Sell everything from the small Prime Silver Players pack. So you get loads of value back from those. And obviously this Prime World Player pack will give you back Enough to do another one of those packs. League on the Breeds. Again, this is going to give you a premium gold pack. Three players. Another six players there. Another three players there. Sell anything of value from those two packs. 
and repeat that process and that is how you're going to grind the 75 times 5 using BPM into silver. So I'll sum it up quickly. Open up 50k of bronze packs at a time, sell everything that sells, unless your league SPC grinding, keep that stuff. If bronze rares are at discard, hold them for now. If you don't need the money back straight away, hold them for now. They'll sell for 1,000, 1,500, somewhere down the line. But if you need the coins back, sell them straight away. Convert all the bronzes that don't sell into silvers. The silvers, league SPC keep, everything else gets converted in the silver upgrade into the golds. Then the golds go straight into that 75 times 5 pack. It's as simple as that. I'll be right back with method two. All right then, method two is twofold. The first thing is you can do it during the day. The second thing is you can do it really effectively at 6 p.m. This is a method I showed you guys the other day, which is the buy one, sell two, or buy one, sell three method, okay? What you need to do is focus on a league at a time. So for example, the Premier League. You're gonna check what the common goals are selling for, which is about 700 coins, give or take, maybe a little bit lower, which is really good considering this pack's so overpowered. Um, well, yeah, about that basically. And what you can do is you compare price back out, and anything that pops below that, you're going to buy, basically. And as you're doing this, so Heaton, for example, Jay Adams, he's still there. Edward Edward has gone. As you're doing this, you're going to build up a load of players that you bought cheaper than, than the current sell price, basically, of these cards. Let's just see if we get another one. More players not gone. Ideally, don't start the Premier League for reference. It is quite busy league to do, but we'll just try and get another one too. Let's just see if we can get one more too. So that's that basically, okay? Now, you've got three players here. What you're going to do is compare price on them. Look at Tarkovsky, for example, okay? So he's 800 coins. So we're going to him for 850. He will sell for that. So profit from Tarkovsky. We'll look at Johnny Evans. Again, we'll get 800 coins from easily. So that's that. And then we'll keep Tom Heaton. We'll get one more player, basically. So Tom Heaton goes into the club. You need one more card to sell, and you've made back the price of that Tom Heaton. And that's all you've got to do. So each player, basically, buy one, sell three, and you make back most of the price. Now, if it's just slightly off, you might need to sell four. It's how the world goes. Um, but sometimes you'll get like a Lacazette, which sells for 2,000 coins. And that's buy one, sell three, sell two, whatever good value you, you sort of pick up. Remember, though, bids. Bids are really, really good. You can throw bids down on stuff to make it a bit easier for yourself when it comes down to doing this. And if you can get good cards on bids, if you can get them cheap enough on bids... I picked up a few this morning, for example, um, at like 350, 400 coins from different leagues. Uh, bidding is much more effective if you can do that. Focus on one league, craft a few 75 times fives, move on to the next league, okay? Remember, minor leagues are very, very good. They're really, really good. But you now know, if you look at the, the game now, you know the prices of those gold commons and what they sell for at this moment in time. But at 6 p.m., everyone comes onto the game, okay? And loads of packs are going to be opened up, which are going to contain gold from players, basically. What your job now is, is if you, for example, were buying those cards at 600, well, they might drop down to 600 in general. So you try and pick them up for 500. And then you wait for the supply to end. And later in the evening and the next day, you can then sell off a load of them and keep a load of them because you'll be making 300 coins a card. So you'll sell off two, keep one. Sell off two, keep one. Sell off two, keep one. And that's how you'll make a lot more from it. And it'd be a lot easier for you to basically fill up your club. So you can just buy loads, send a load to your club, and then everything else you sell them for instant profit, and it's really, really easy. It doesn't take much thought at all to do either of these two methods. No thought at all. It's very, very simple. It doesn't take much time. But a lot of you guys are saying, do I keep going and do I open them now? I wouldn't. I would keep them for the next promo, personally. If you're going to open them now, though, what I would do if I were you is I'd utilise those methods that you've got. You can utilise those, no problem, um, and do whatever it is. And then when you open up the... Is it there, the 35 times 5? When you open up 75 times 5, okay, you're going to, at the end of it, going to get 5 players. If anything isn't a board, I put it straight back into it again. You only then need to put in 6 common golds, and that'll give you a 75 times 5 again for essentially 3k, 4k, okay? So you can do that basically continually until you hit, like, walkouts or whatever it is. Keep recycling everything. If it's not a board, keep going, keep going, and then throw the common golds in. So use these methods, and eventually what you'll probably be able to do is stock your club up with fodder, 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 and a load of players as well that you can sort of 83 ratings or whatever that you can do stuff with at a later date. Personally, I would keep these 75 times 5s though. I would keep them for the next promo. They've got a very good hit rate of 84s and 85s, so that's what I would do. If I'm being entirely honest, that's what the way I would, I would grind it out. But like I said, if you're doing League SBC grind, I'd recommend continuing to do the four leagues or whatever you're doing. Anything from those League SBCs that isn't from those League SBCs, put into the 75 times 5 and continually put, repeat it and rinse it, okay? So for this method, what you're doing is bidding or sniping the, uh, below the minimum price 
on average of that league, which is basically 650 for the Premier League. It's not going to be much different per major league, realistically. Anything you get, let's say you get four cards, you sell three of those on for profit to pay for the one card you're going to keep. You keep repeating that process, keep repeating that process, and eventually you end up with enough to put together a pack. Remember, they're here for five or six days, plenty of time to do it. Alternatively, outside of all these things, you can just trade. If you're a good trader, you know what you're doing, you can just trade on the game. You haven't got to worry too much. You can just, for example, they're the ones I bid earlier on and got those. You can just trade on them. So you can just do your trading and use your trade profit for it. That's also a very good way of doing things. If you want trading videos, trading tips, head over to the website. There's videos and guides on there or check out the channel for more. But I guarantee you, you use the methods the way I've said to use them, you will do the 75 times 5s for free. But if you're new around here, make sure you subscribe down below. Make sure your notifications are turned on so you never miss an upload. But for now, I'm out. Peace out. I'll speak to you soon.